Here's how to fix your VPN if it's not working on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you wanted to enable and connect to a VPN, and then from there, other websites and all that stuff, I'll show you how to do it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the first thing you want to do is swipe down from the top right, and you'll be able to see at the very top next to Wi-Fi, it shows VPN, indicating that I'm currently connected to my VPN if it doesn't say that you're not currently connected. Now, from here, I can just open up a web browser and for instance, I can go to youtube.com and you can see it works. It basically takes my phone and goes through the VPN to youtube.com. However, if that's not working, let's go into your settings first and you'll see right under battery is VPN. So let's toggle that off and it says VPN disconnecting and just toggle it back on and it says VPN connecting. So essentially what we've done there is just disconnected and reconnected to that VPN and see if it's working from there. If it's not working, you'll be able to see this is the VPN app I'm using. I can go into the app and I can choose a different location. So I can tap on this. And for instance, instead of New York or wherever it was, I can choose Miami and tap on one in Miami and just see if maybe there is an issue with the VPN in that specific server. So for all these VPNs, they have a bunch of different servers, free ones and paid ones. Just switch to a different server and see if that fixes your issue. If that doesn't fix it, we will tap on settings again. And on here, we will tap on general and then scroll to the very bottom and tap on VPN and device management. Now on here, you can see I'm currently connected. I can go into this key here and I can see the type, the server, account, address on here. Basically, I can choose to, if I want to delete out this entire VPN profile on my iPhone and just reinstall it. So let's hit delete VPN. And you can see there, basically, it's been deleted. But now if I close out of everything and open this app up again, it will ask me to reinitiate that VPN key. So on here, it should pop up when I hit connect here. And I'm going to hit allow. And just enter in the passcode for my phone here. And just see, proceed with that. And just like that, I've deleted and reinstalled that profile for the VPN. Now, the next thing we will do, if that's not working, let's just go back here and we will swipe down to the very bottom and hit shut down. So you'd be surprised how many times just turning off your phone and restarting your phone fixes issues, including connecting to that VPN and having internet connection through that VPN. If you go through all of these steps and it's still not working, the next thing I would recommend doing is just head to the App Store and try a different VPN. Potentially that VPN is down and it's just causing issues. So on here, you can see I have this VPN super unlimited proxy, but you can go to any of these other VPNs. A lot of them have free options on here. Basically, you can connect to free servers. I would recommend just downloading and installing a different VPN and seeing if that one works instead. If you go through all these steps, the last thing I would recommend doing is heading back into your settings. We'll tap on transfer or reset iPhone and hit reset and reset network settings, including all of the settings associated with the VPN. So enter in the passcode here and basically it will reduce all of those settings or basically change them all back to the factory default. And a lot of times this fixes any kind of bugs or glitches, including with those VPN profiles or connecting from your iPhone over to that VPN. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks guys.